those monkeys were alarm calling at. It's dark, um, but it wasn't elusive enough for us. Have a look at this, everyone. We've managed to find a leopard. I'm going to turn the light off. Let's use infrared. Hold on a second. The infrared will kick in. Here we go. Wonderful. Look at that. Uh, this looks like a female. Um, we'll try to see. I, I mean, I have no idea who this is. Isn't that wonderful? Look at that. Hey, so from lions listening and then listening to the monkey's alarm calling, I told you, I said, I'm not sure if it's a lion or a leopard, possibly a leopard, because we had those lions lying down and those monkeys were alarm calling in a different area. James, you got your last minute spots that you wanted. Hey, what a, another great drive. This is, we've been very fortunate. This looks like a young female. Is this not, uh, is this, you know, I'm not even going to hazard a guess in case I get shouted at. <laughs> Tristan, are you watching? <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. You can see her eyes are glowing. Now, we're quite far away and she can't see any light with this infrared on, which is great. So it's, we're not disturbing her at all. It's actually so dark at the moment. We're sitting in the dark. I'm just going to turn that light off too. Wow, that is wonderful. It's amazing with this infrared that we're able to see these cats or nocturnal animals so clearly. I'm hoping she decides to go and have a drink. The call of the fiery-necked night jars in the, in the background. Beautiful thick tail, that long tail. <laughs> See, now I wonder if this leopard can possibly smell the lions. Maybe that's why it's cautious looking around. This is spectacular. <laughs> I'm giggling because I, I, I get so excited when, uh, you know, there's just something about when you are in the bush, and especially working in the bush, um, if you, if you obviously been trained and you, you you understand the bush a little bit better but to use signs of the wild like alarm calls or anything like that or tracks and then to find the potential predator or whatever you think it might be it's it's so rewarding and I still I still to this day after doing it for many many years I really really love it this is probably one of my favorite parts of guiding and um, and it's just it's special. I mean, we've been we've been very fortunate. You know, the other morning we um, we stuck with that uh, lioness and we got to follow her back to the den. She took us to to her den site where she's got those three little cubs. That was a huge reward. And now to find this beautiful leopard, Sean, you asked how far this leopard is from the lions. Um, I would say. Probably 200 meters, short, 200 meters from where we had those lions. But those lions are fast asleep. I think they're still fast asleep back where we left them. And this leopard looks very alert, so. There's a Scops owl calling too. So apparently a lot of the viewers, you're saying this is possibly Tandy. And those, 
going to say it initially it looked like a, a young younger leopard um, but I mean you know looking at if you look at um, just under her belly she's got some tufts of of hair around there that looks like that of a female leopard that's um, that has given birth before they get this little um, a little pouch almost I suppose you could call it forming under the belly there you can see that and I was looking at the ears the ears do appear to be a little frayed so it's a little bit older and I mean but Tandy's not that old how old is Tandy now um, I wonder if anybody knows I can't remember again I get so confused with the leopard ages So forgive me for not remembering the, the ages. I do get confused a little bit with the different leopards that we see. Um, not just here, all that I see all over, different females and males. Yeah, it does look, if you look at those ears, it does look like a, a slightly older leopard. So Tandy was born in 2006. Okay, wow, so that's 11 years. Yeah, well, I suppose. But she still looks good, so about 11 years old. <laughs> Sometimes difficult to see, you know, with these little screens that we've got exactly um, and, and at night. But, um, but as I said, I can see what looks like to be a little frayed ears. very cautious, constantly looking around, listening, see how those ears are moving. Well, this was a great surprise. I'm going to sit here a little bit longer with this leopard. Let's head back to James, who's still sitting with his lions. Let's see if they're doing anything at the moment.